Hello, my name is Margaret and I'm a neurology technician here at the Veterinary Specialty Hospital. Some conditions can cause your pet to lose the ability to urinate on their own. A constant full bladder can be extremely uncomfortable for the animal and may lead to urinary tract infection. So it's very important that owners know how to manually relieve their pet's bladder using a technique called expressing a bladder, which I'll be showing you how to do in this video. This is Zeus who will be helping us as we are expressing his bladder in this video. And this is Lauren who will be helping to restrain Zeus. So first, you wanna take your pet either outside to a grassy area or lay out a pee pad or towel for them. Next, you want to carefully and gently support their pelvis and lift your pet into an upright position. The next thing you want to do is locate your pet's bladder by placing your hand on their abdomen right in front of the thigh. For smaller dogs, they can have full-size bladders that are lemon or orange size, and for larger dogs, it could be a grapefruit full size. Next, you want to position your hands to express the bladder, and there are two ways that you can do this. You can use the one-handed method and place your thumb on one side of the abdomen and the rest of your fingers on the other side of the abdomen. Or you can use a two-handed method and place one hand on one side of the abdomen and the other hand on the other side of the abdomen. You do not want to apply any pressure to the spine in either case. Then you want to apply a gentle yet constant pressure by squeezing your fingers together if using the one-handed method or two hands, which I'll be using right now. So I'm gonna squeeze my hands together to express the bladder. And you want to slowly increase the pressure as you go along until urine is produced. You have successfully expressed your pet's bladder once the bladder shrinks in size or your pet starts dribbling urine. In cases where the bladder becomes too full, overflow can occur and you may notice bedwetting or dribbling of urine. This should not be confused with voluntary urination and your veterinarian will be able to tell you if your pet can truly urinate on their own. And as a side note, pets do not need manual assistance defecating. For more information, please visit our website at www.vshsc.com. It may be a little difficult at first, but with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck!